It's a move designed to boost the unlocking of the economy and halt the virus in its tracks. Starting this Friday, everyone in England will be offered two free Covid tests a week, at home or at work and in schools and colleges. People will be able to order test kits online or collect them from pharmacies and the tests will produce results in 30 minutes. The programme, which will cost billions, is aimed at people without symptoms because one in three people with Covid don't have any and may be spreading the virus unwittingly. But the test won't be compulsory. The Prime Minister says, As we continue to make good progress on our vaccine programme and with our roadmap to cautiously easing restrictions underway, regular rapid testing is even more important to make sure those efforts are not wasted. And the really critical thing we don't know is what effect it has on transmission of coronavirus. So the Liverpool pilot of this happened at the same time as lockdown. So the number of cases did go down, but we didn't have any comparison to a no testing area. So we really don't know what contribution it makes or doesn't make. The scheme has been announced ahead of a Downing Street news conference this afternoon at which Boris Johnson will confirm that the next stage of easing lockdown rules in England is on schedule. Today's statement by the Prime Minister is the most eagerly awaited on lockdown easing measures since he unveiled his roadmap to freedom with its four steps back in February. Step two, with hospitality opening outdoors and non-essential retail reopening, is due a week today. Also due to reopen next week are gyms, which have been closed in England since early January. We've reopened bookings, hopefully tomorrow. We're just waiting for Boris to press the button. We need now to get people back into exercise, sort their physical health out, sort their mental health out. This afternoon, Mr Johnson will also describe his plans for vaccine passports for major events like Wembley Cup finals and a traffic light quarantine system for overseas travellers. All in all, it's one of the biggest days so far towards the lifting of restrictions. John Craig, Sky News.